in my growing scope of making associations and going into larger environments of the internet and bigger spheres and more competitive zones I've gotten to know a lot more fascists and I'm not talking about ANCAPs that have decided to move on to more authoritarian viewpoints I'm talking about fascists that became fascists because they liked it I don't know how to say it in a way that isn't fucking weird but that's because I'm a total doofus today oh gosh I'm pale I haven't seen the sun since the summer one day Fucking shamelessing it. This is the one summer since 2007 where I did not get a little bit of a tan. What the fuck is this shit? Dude, I am fucking scared of myself. I look like. I mean, I look pretty bad in the fucking summer, but I'm dying. Shit. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the subject. I've created a little bit of a dichotomy with some of my findings. It seems that there's a difference between fascists that are reactionary and fascists that aren't reactionary. There isn't a lot of the non-reactionary fascists will associate with libertarians. They do enjoy the aspect of the debate, and they do remind me of me in my anarchist days, where I was sort of an ideologue, I was kind of constructing my ideals. A lot of these people are, just like many of the anarchists I used to know, anti-theists, especially in a Christian scale. A lot of them kind of view mankind as their canvas a little bit a little bit kinda of like how even good libertarians will do that just a little bit love debate love argumentation not really a circle jerk kind of thing and the non-fascist libert I mean the non-reactionary fascists are kind of interesting in that sense because they showcase a little bit of a youth, a little bit of familiarity to me. There's a competitiveness that is constructive and it's not just some low level Freudian shit like in other spheres I'm involved with. And I think that's cool. I like that. I like certain aspects that it's very academic, very interesting and very uplifting I wouldn't say upwardy though because certain websites certain news places like upwardy.com kinda fucked that term up for me upwardy really shit and with reactionary fascists they do handle economics a little bit differently a lot of what they'll advocate for is stuff that sounds way too first option it sounds way too left you won't see a reactionary fascist brag about universal health care or free schooling past high school at least they kinda want that private, they don't like public schooling but that's cause they handle the race issue differently even non-reactionary fascists are race realists, even they advocate for white homogeneity and things of this nature but they handle that issue a little differently it's not as much 
we need to attack the immigrants as much as shit we just need to we just need to work on our own kind right now and yeah a lot of these niggas they gonna be niggas there isn't this need to showcase on their Facebook news feed every time a fucking white woman is raped to death by a black guy I mean let's be honest guys People put up funny YouTube videos of white guys getting raped by dolphins. They're kind of in a similar level of intellect and agency, only with the dolphin as opposed to the black guy. It's impressive. It's impressive to see how intelligent dolphins can be. And I feel a lot more sorry for the guy that's getting raped by the dolphin. But, uh, shit. What we're dealing with is. When this dichotomy is kind of interesting. It seems that once you remove the social movements from the ideology, a lot of things do fucking change. Anyway, this is Mr. Wonka 7. I could get more in depth with this, but I really don't know what I'm gonna do for the rest of this hour, next hour. I don't know if I'm gonna go to sleep or do whatever. I don't fucking know. Shit. Anyway, take care, everybody. Hope my fucking pale ass chest didn't violate your eyes too much. And. Y'all need to stop sucking on this dick, because I don't want that shit. It's Mr. Walker 7, and stop sucking my dick. Don't suck my dick. <laughs>